Hi everyone, this is Piotr Kieszkowski from the Aquarium Television Definite Aquascape TV and this is uh, the first video <laughs> from Egypt. Uh, I came to Dayhap for two weeks. Dayhap is a small town in Egypt at the coast of the Red Sea. Um, I came here to do some diving and some filming of the reef. So in this first video I just want to show you the hotel where I live and some of my equipment. <laughs> what you see right now is the inside part of the, the hotel, it's called Jawara Hotel and uh, here is the diving base the diving base it's called I Dive, I cooperate with these guys uh, so right now you can see the vicinity, the surroundings of the hotel It's really early in the morning right now, so there is not many people there because everyone is sleeping. And now we go into my room. Uh -huh. This is my room with the air conditioning working already <laughs> because it's becoming really hot. First I want to show you some of my batteries uh, and chargers. Everything is connected here. You can see why it's so important to have an extension cord because there are only two this is one power socket in the hotel room and the other power socket is located here the fridge is connected to this power socket so if I want to charge anything and if I would be having only if I would if I wouldn't be having the extension cord then it would be really difficult to charge everything just using these two power sockets whereas when I have the power the extension cord I can connect everything I need just to this one power socket so it's really useful okay so this is all the equipment which is charging right now this these are the batteries and the external screen for my camera welcome back <laughs> to the second part of this video now I assembled the whole uh, underwater case just to show you how it looks like and what equipment is using for filming underwater. So first, the underwater housing it's itself is just a piece of aluminium pipe. Piece of aluminium pipe which has the cover from the back part. It's manufactured by the Polish company Gral Marine. Uh, this company is based in Wrocław, in the city where I live and they are making really high quality and quite cheap uh, equipment for underwater filming and um, yeah for underwater filming here is a really important part this is the screen this is the external screen it's really important to have a external screen uh, because you can view uh, view it from different angles if i lose the screw right now i can oh you see i can i can move it all around so if I want to look from up for example from above uh, I can do it easily so the external external screen is is really important for do some good shots here are all the controls everything is controlled manually so it's really comfortable because you can use all the features of the camera underwater here's another set of buttons used for controlling the camera and this is the external lamp it's also important to have the external source of light uh, because uh, as some of you maybe know and maybe not when you go underwater the deeper you go the more bluish the, the image becomes because the red color is the one which fades very quickly when you are going down so when you have your own source of light you can bring all the colors back because you just you just shine your light on the objects you are filming so this is the external lamp it's made of leds 14 small leds they are really small small but they are really powerful i will turn it off in a moment oh, on sorry i will turn it on in a moment so this is the lamp and here is the battery for the lamp it's also manufactured by Grau Marine and uh, <laughs> I have to think about a way to attach this battery to the to the underwater housing 
Okay, so now I turn the lamp on. It has actually two settings. This is the first position. Yeah, the, right now all 14 LEDs are shining. And the, uh, the other setting is just, I hope it's visible, just half of the LEDs uh, is shining right now. So it's also really useful because you can adjust the power of light to the conditions in which you are filming. Okay, what else? Ah, there is, <laughs> there is this filter. This filter, you can attach it in front of the camera, in front of the housing, to improve the colors. If you don't have the external light, <coughs> you can use this filter to improve the colors uh, underwater. <coughs> okay, so this is it. This is the set, the equipment I will be using for filming. I have also another camera for doing some monitoring uh, of the behavior of the fish, but I will show you this in the next video. Thank you for your attention. This was Piotr Kieszkowski from the Aquarium Television Definite Aquascape TV.